All right, we're going to see. We've got a bunch of different distros, but we need to uh, find one for Rufus. Get our flash drive out here. And I think, uh, let's see here. Um, I need to figure out what's on this one. Okay, that's Void uh, Linux. And that one, I don't remember. Uh, you got to do some weird crap to get it to work. So we'll go ahead and skip that one. Um, we're going to go uh, Bookworm Pup. Now these are all kind of based on Bookworm and all these other ones. Kind of based on the uh, Debian image for a Raspberry Pi, I think, kind of. Or those are based on these. So... Let's see. This actually should probably write pretty quick because I think it's pretty small. Um, we'll see. So yeah, that was pretty quick. Let's go ahead and close this. Get the drive out of here. All right, we're over here at the old, old computer. Let's go. Drive up in the top here. Just say. It's probably going to boot into um, Damien. Should probably have to. Yep. Legacy bios, guys. Enter. I definitely don't like legacy BIOS because you always have to change it every single time. And also, it seems like it changes on its own a lot. And it's just difficult for certain things. Okay, so we have a few choices. Uh, RAM disk shell, RAM only, safe mode, no kernel, mode setting, no X, force X org, wizard, don't copy, copy. We'll try that one. Uh, boot first hard drive, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So I've never ever ran this before or tried it before. So I don't know how well it's going to run on this. Or if I'm even doing it right. I know that it's supposed to do some kind of weird thing where it runs from the RAM only. Making it really fast. See, it says copying it to the RAM, so. Interesting stuff. You know, it's kind of strange how most of the, the Linux stuff follows the same kind of rhetoric or whatever you want to call it, you know. It's like it's actually being orchestrated by IBM. And all the, most of the distros are like on a very strict schedule. And uh, I would guess why, like listening to some of the most recent stuff about Xorg or Zorg or whatever and uh, that stuff and Torvalds arguing with other people on other distros, I think... Um, despite this appearing to be like independent and not Microsoft and all this stuff that um, I think secretly all this crap is uh, being run by IBM 
So this is kind of cool looking. Um, and it's definitely Debian. Um, let's do the quick setup. Yeah, the mouse is nice and responsive. Like, in Debian, it was terrible. choose Phoenix basically. Okay. US English. NV video driver is currently being used, okay, if you need to adjust the screen resolution or displacement. Uh, okay. Internet connection. Okay. I love how it has this right here. Um, why did it turn black and then white? So, I don't know what this is, but it, I had it on another operating system and I really like it because it lets you know a ton of stuff. Uh, CPU system up and down speeds IP address it's all right there right on your screen it's really cool I think the CPU is maxed out <laughs> no surprise there uh, SDA1 <coughs> Um, I don't know if you can install this, how you install it. This is actually really nice. It's got a lot of really good information. 3 gigabytes of personal storage, free space 2.3. Firewall on. Clipboard manager. Um, menu. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I like this uh, setup. Okay, here's the installer. Let's get this installed on here. I think this will run really good on this computer. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so it says the boot flash. So wiki utility utility installs manages installs okay uh, click the corresponding button to execute a facility So it seemed like it wasn't really an installer. Okay. Now what? What the freaking hell? I, mean, I don't know where the thing is. This is ridiculous. So it says the puppy button set to puppy frugal installer directory with files. Use this to 
create or update puppy. Uh, the boot button set a boot partition. Boot CD. I just want to install the stupid thing. Like, I don't understand it. Okay. I don't want to. I also don't want to have to read a whole bunch of crap to try and figure out how to install it. But it, it does work pretty good, I can tell. I mean. Here's the setup menu. Quick setup. Okay. I already did that. But it's not installed. System. There's your installer, and I'm just not understanding how it works. Okay, to install Puppy to a removable media such as a USB drive, insert it right now before proceeding. Okay. Can you, can you not, like, run this off the hard drive? Is that what it is? Like... Interesting. I I don't think I don't think this thing runs on the hard drive. I might be wrong. But any anyway, it's definitely fast. Um Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something here.